Hey everybody, how is everybody doing today? Um, how am I doing? Really good. Uh, life's not without its challenges, but that's for everybody, right? Today I'm going to read some more Psalms, and right now I'm going to do Psalm 36. How precious is your steadfast love to the choir master of David, the servant of the Lord. <clears throat> Transgression speaks to the wicked. Deep in his heart, there is no fear of God before his eyes. For he flatters himself in his own eyes that his iniquity cannot be found out and hated. The words of his mouth are troubled and deceit. He has ceased to act wisely and do good. He plots trouble while on his bed. He sets himself in a way that is not good. He does not reject evil. Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mountains of God. Your judgments are like the great deep. Man and beast you save, O Lord. <coughs> How precious is your steadfast love, O God. The children of mankind take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light do we light. In your light do we see light. O continue your steadfast love to those who know you, and your righteousness to the upright of heart. Let not the foot of arrogance come upon me, nor the hand of the wicked drive me away. There the evildoers lie fallen. They are thrust down, unable to rise. <clears throat> Psalm 36. What was the part that stuck out to me? Verse 7, how precious is your steadfast love, O God. The children of mankind take refuge in the shadow of your wings. That's where I take refuge. Because my hope is in Christ. Is your hope in Christ? I hope so. And as you can tell in these, um, I mean, you look at verse 5, your steadfast love. Verse 7, how precious is your steadfast love. Verse 10, oh, continue your steadfast love. Do we know why some things are happening to us? No, we don't. But sometimes... Um, we want to. But that's that whole part of faith that I believe that whatever happens is part of God's plan. It's all part of his glory. Whether I know it or not, it makes no difference. And on that, I will leave you with a verse, not with a verse, with Psalm 36. May God bless each and every one of you. Continue to uh, reach out to people, to pray for people. And be kind to people, especially to the ones who are not kind, because sometimes we don't know what's going through their, with their lives. They might just need somebody to just say, hey, it's okay. God bless each and every one of you.